contesting testimony. They win. We begin in the 119 pound division. There is the United States, Lou Roselli. He'll be going against the Russian in the red, Leonid Chutunov. Roselli, 26 years old, number one ranked on the U.S. team. Surprise Olympian in 1996. He's got a couple of world, or one World Cup championship to his name. What can we expect from him? We know Roselli is aggressive, Kenny Monday. Great matchup, great matchup. Lou is really uh, wrestling better than I've ever seen him wrestle. He's uh, really starting to come into his own, really feel good about himself. Uh, this kid is tough, though. It's going to be a good match. They've both been wrestling well throughout the competition. I talked to Lou earlier, and he's really excited about the new weight class, and so he's feeling good. I'll clarify something I said. He's got one World Cup, and this is his first World Cup exposure. This is for the individual gold medal. Of course, we have a team championship. The winner of this meet, U.S. and Russia, will be the team champion, the World Cup team champion. But this individual match is for the individual gold medal. And it's awesome. I mean, the World Cup is a, a very pre prestigious tournament. I mean, this is probably ranks third on, on the list of, of my accomplishments. You know, you get the Olympic Championship, you get the World World Championships, and then the World Cup. So this is a pretty, you know, big competition. It means a lot for the guy's career. Just to set up the ground rules, they've got one regulation five-minute period of freestyle wrestling. But there is a three-point must system. The winner, after those five minutes, must have at least three points, or they will go in to overtime. And Kenny Monday explains some of the scoring and maybe some of the differences between this and collegiate wrestling, which a lot of people may have seen recently. Well, basically, it's, it's more similar to collegiate style wrestling, but there's only one point for the takedown, uh, as opposed to two. Uh, there's more wrestling on your feet. I mean, it's more aggressive. I mean, they want to they want to see more throws, more action. Uh, of course, you know, lose down, got cautioned down for for inactivity. They, they give it, uh, the other wrestler an opportunity to turn him, so he's got the opportunity to put him down or stay on his feet. If he turns him, he gets two points. Oh, he gut wrench right there. It's two points. Oh, he went hand to hand. So one point one for point. the Russian. Yeah. So in that point, in that in that instance, instead of the two point for for a near fall, Lou went hand to hand, which they only awarded him one point. If you go hand to hand, it's one point. If you go elbow to elbow, if you go across your back, it's two points. The scoring does encourage offensive style and you will see the mat three different colors the yellow the primary wrestling area the red zone or you like to call the the danger the zone danger zone Absolutely. and then the blue is actually out of bounds but you will be able to see some wrestlers start an offensive move within the yellow or the red and get points actually for finishing the move out on the blue mm -hmm. if you take your opponent from his feet to his back that's a three-point move there is also a five-point move in the scoring system, and uh, that is when you get somebody way up high off, off their feet. Grand aptitude throw. That's the highest point award that you can get in, a, in wrestling. Halfway through the match, and the Russians, Kuchinov with a one-point lead, one to nothing. Lou's got to get his offense going right here. The guy's really, you know, forcing the attack. He's controlling the mat area. If you notice, the guy that controls the mat area, and th that's the guy that will probably push this guy to the back or have his, his hips to the outside of the, the circle, um, will probably be more, uh, more successful. The name of the game in freestyle wrestling, international wrestling, is mat position. You've got to control the, the mat position. You've got to establish that dominance, and you've got to control the mat area. Chutonov oh. now with another point. He leads 2-0. But Roselli now in control and in position for score. Oh, beautiful, beautiful technique by Lou. He's reversing there. The guy got a little uh, little careless on top, and Lou looked for his opportunity and reversed it. And uh, also the reverse is one point opposed to two points in, in, in collegiate style wrestling. Roselli does come up with a point. He trails two to one to the Russian. And so now in activity on both sides. They've got 15 minutes to get, or 15 seconds to get action underway once they're down on the mat and the referee will stop them, get them back in the neutral position as he has done. Now you have a straight five five minutes, no breaks, no time, no timeouts. I mean, there's some timeouts, but it's a straight five minutes and, you know, the time is running out. I mean, if five, five minutes goes pr by pretty fast in the course of a match. So, you know, Lou's got to get going. Oh, nice single leg takedown there. He's, he's working. 
There it is with the point for Roselli. It is two to two with just over a minute to go. And they will bring them back to the center of the Matt Roselli, 1996 Olympian. He's a two-time U.S. national champion. Comes from Edinburgh, Pennsylvania University, where Bruce Baumgartner coaches. Actually, Baumgartner coached him, and now he is a teammate here on the U.S. team. We'll see Baumgartner a little bit later in this broadcast. Referee almost gave a point, and he does give a point to the Russian. They lead 3-2. Great takedown there. He went from an underhook to a near leg ankle pick. Great takedown there. I think right now, you know, conditioning plays a, a, plays a big factor right here. Moves in there on that single leg. That's a good point there. They do give a point to Roselli. 3-3 three three now with 34 seconds to go in the match. Great intensity by...